This is teddy bear number two. This was one piece of fabric from an 1800s coverlet that I got. It's called a cutter quilt or overshot coverlet. And you can have it facing either way. This is where I did the slit, turned it inside out. Check out video number one for the other bear that will go into detail on how to do these. This will be the same, except you can either do with no embroidery or you can do it with embroidery. And this was all hand done. And briefly, how I do all my crafts, even stockings, anything that I sew with, what I first do, this is the right side, I take my pattern, I trace it on this, I iron this and then I sew all the way around and then I tear this off and then I know where I have to do all my embroidery. Now sometimes I will leave this on the paper ironed down with the lines drawn on it and I will embroider right through here, right through here. And what it does, it gives you a stable background. And then once I get this all done, see how I go over because I'm gonna be sewing right over that line. And if you wanted to, you could use a color that blended right in with this. Or you can do real big stitches and take them out. But no matter, once it all gets done, I even do this, like I said, for stockings. I put a piece of freezer paper on the back and I'll go over and sew right on the line. And what that does, because this is very biasy, very stretchy and it gives it some stability when you're sewing and then it peels right off. And for all my embroidery, whether it's light colored or dark colored, I leave the freezer paper on and I will just go right through the freezer paper and do my embroidery. Now, you don't have to do this. Check out the pattern on the side and on the bottom. I left baskets, flowers, and other things that you can do. This was. This was quite detailed, and if you don't want to do that much detailed sewing, you can forego that. You can even put a piece of fabric like this, like a heart, if you want. You can put that on there, or you don't have to do anything. Like I said in all my other videos, you can use glass beads. You don't have to do all this hand embroidery if you do not want to. Hence, you can make it look plain. So I just wanted you to get the pattern out. The link's below. Make sure you check out the craft list at the end of the video. And it's for rustic and primitive, different types of crafts. If you're looking for an Easter one, I did this last year, my primitive bunny. All the free patterns are there. You should be able to download under the videos. You don't have to go to my blog or anywhere and you don't have to sign up. I hope you liked this video. Let me know if you made it and how it turned out. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. And this is Jersey saying, see you on the next video.